Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLC ends in free final chapter next month. Driven from Norway by endless wars and dwindling resources in the 9th century CE, players will lead Ivar's clan of Norsemen across the icy North Sea to the rich lands of England's broken kingdoms. Players must carve out a new future for their clan, reliving the ruthless fighting style of Viking warriors with a revamped combat system that includes the ability to dual-wield weapons against a greater variety of enemies than ever before. To secure resources players can lead raids to select locations using their longship to earn much-needed riches and resources. As the Vikings begin to settle in their new home, they encounter resistance from the Saxons including King Alfred of Wessex, who denounces them as heathens and looks to be the sole ruler of a civilized England. Against all odds, Ivor must do what is necessary to keep Valhalla within reach. Ubisoft has revealed its post-launch content support of Assassin's Creed Valhalla will end next month on December 6, 2022 as it releases a final chapter designed to conclude the story of Ivor. Available to all players for free, it shall tie up some of the storylines developed throughout the game and offer closure to your time among the Raven Clan. Given the name The Last Chapter, it follows on from the Wrath of the Druids and the Siege of Paris DLCs, as well as the huge Dawn of Ragnarok expansion. Another smaller piece of content was made available for free that brought back Cassandra from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This final DLC is expected to be similar in size to that, and to access it, you must do the following. Complete the main storyline by pledging to all territories of England. Complete the mythical story arcs of Asgard and Jotunheim. Upgrade your settlement to level 5 and construct the Jomsviking barracks. Kill all targets of the Order of the Ancients and unveil its leader. Update 1.6.2 won't just contain the last chapter, it also includes the ability to keep Evers hood up at all times. This new option will be added to the in-game options menu, giving you the chance to always keep your hood equipped, even when taking off Evers cloak. This is purely cosmetic and will not impact gameplay or detection but will allow you to further customize your experience. Set in 873 CE, Valhalla has players take the role of Eivor, a Viking raider and clan leader of the Norsemen who can be played either as male or female. The game retains the dialogue choice and NPC relationship elements from Assassin's Creed, Odyssey, with new elements such as forging political alliances with NPC clans. Every choice and decision of the players affects the world of the game in real time. Players can travel from the cold shores of Norway to England. Ivor is able to equip an assortment of weapons, and dual wield many of them. Ivor can also use a hidden blade in combat, which has not been used since Origins. Ivor can develop their own settlement and build and upgrade structures such as tattoo shops and barracks. They can also recruit new members of their clan and can train their own army for raids or other missions. The player is able to build a raiding party by recruiting non-player characters to assist with these. Though the use of naval transport has returned, naval combat has been dialed back. Eivor's longship will act more as a means of travel when performing raids and for escaping after land combat, rather than being used in combat with other naval vessels. Players can take part in activities like drinking games, hunting, or traditional Norse games such as flighting. A player is able to create a Viking mercenary that can be recruited by other players, acting as a non-playable character within those games, the player gains additional in-game rewards for successful missions. Vinland, also known as St. Brendan's Land, is the area of coastal North America, ranging from near what is now Turin, New York to the Canadian island of Newfoundland, explored by Norse Vikings during the Middle Ages. While Leif Erikson is commonly accepted to be the first European to set foot on the continent, having landed there in around 1000, Vinland had already been visited in the 6th century by Brendan of Clonfort. A devout Irish Celtic monk, Brendan believed he was undertaking his God's will in his pilgrimage from Norway but was in fact being compelled by the legacy of the Isu Ida to access the Grand Temple and free the captive Juno. He ultimately failed to unlock its entrance. 
Nearly two centuries later, in 875, Gorm Jotvesen, the son of Jot the Cruel, who served as magister to the Wardens of War sect of the Order of the Ancients, mounted an expedition to the area chasing ISU secrets surrounding the crystal ball in their possession. However, their efforts were undone by Gorm's sworn enemy, the shield maiden Eva Varen's daughter of the Raven clan, who assassinated Gorm and reclaimed the crystal ball he had stolen from the Canian Keha, Ka people of the Iroquois Confederacy living in Karenhaiken, I-8 and around the forest of Karhaken, Rat. After Gorm's death, the Norse left Vinland for over a century until it was rediscovered by Leif Erikson, albeit much further north than Gorm's original excursion.